This is Half-Life 3, non-existent, and so are all these games. It's painful, but why? Why not make the sequels everyone wants? Well, I'm a game developer, and today I'm going to do my best through unscripted rambling to try and explain why. No one really wants to make these games. Let me explain. Have you heard of the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once? I don't know if you have. Uh, you may have. You may have not. If you haven't, it is a, uh, a very, very strange movie, but I really like it. Anyways, this was a really good movie. All the people who made it put in so much effort to make it as good as it was. Now, how good would it be if they put out a cheap sequel? It would be garbage. It would stink, okay? No one would freaking like it, and it would ruin the series. It would completely taint it for the rest of the time. Let's move some rest. Come on. Let's, let's keep freaking moving. Let's go. Now, if this movie was made by a bad studio, uh, first off, it probably wouldn't even be good. Second off, they would definitely make a cash grab sequel, and it would stink. No one would like it. People would be like, bruh, what is this? Like, <laughs> freaking should have kept it how it was, right? Now, it's kind of the same case with games. Let's talk about Valve for a second because they're the biggest example of not making sequels when everybody wants them. I want you guys to know, I literally like have nothing planned for this video. I literally have some bullet points on my notes app. So this is a little bit all over the place, but I thought my last video was really serious and I just wanted to kind of go for like a chiller style. Like, dude, this is nice. As I was saying, Valve is designed in a very specific way. I only know about this because I read a random article that popped up on like my Chrome recommended. Um, <laughs> I usually don't read articles that much, but this Chrome article was quoting a Valve employee where it talked about how Valve actually designs their studio where the employees get to choose what they work on. This is this is why a lot of sequels don't get made at Valve. The employees don't want to make it. I, I make games a little bit, um, granted, not really good ones, but this is awesome. Like this actually is amazing because working on a game takes a lot of time. It does. Even these doo-doo games over here, this one took six months. That is a lot of time. Okay, a lot. Having to work on a game you don't like, it's gonna really, really suck. All right, let's let's move again. You know what, I'm just gonna do a uh, bit of a cool transition right now. I'm gonna... I was actually here the whole time. Wow. Okay, back to what I was saying, you don't wanna work on stuff that you don't like. It's not fun, and the end product ends up being bad. Now, this makes complete sense with games that don't necessarily need a sequel. Like, for instance, Portal 2. The ending wrapped up pretty much all the loose ends. I would love a Portal 3, but it's not necessary. Now, let's move on to the big one, okay? Half-Life 3. I'm gonna be completely honest and open here. I haven't played uh, the Half-Life games. I played like three hours of Black Mesa. So take anything I say here with a grain of salt, okay? Remember that, okay? I don't wanna get roasted in the comments. Half-Life 2, episode two, I don't know why they named it like that, needed a sequel. From what I heard, I, I don't actually I know because I didn't play the game, but I know people say it left off on a cliffhanger that uh, people are furious about. So why not make a sequel? Quoted here by a Valve employee, he said basically the people there don't want to make Half-Life 3 and advocating to make it could result into a bad project or just a bad studio environment. And I get it, they left you clawing for a sequel. But in my opinion, not having a sequel and leaving the series on a good note is so much better than having a garbage sequel. Let's move real quick. I know you're getting bored of this spot. But basically in the end, your favorite games aren't being made because the devs lost passion and maybe they made it a good studio or you never know they ran into budget it really all boils down to the fact that games are extremely difficult to make i mean extremely difficult and while i don't have an answer for why larger studios don't pump out a sequel i feel like it's safe to say it's better they don't because well we've already seen what happens when they try without that same passion the initial game had at the end of the day though, this is all the opinion of an amateur, and I mean amateur, game developer. So don't take this all too serious. If we're being totally honest, I am not at all the most qualified person for this. And I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. The car is going by. Look at that one, big, big truck. Look at that thing, woo.